Welcome to 4.3 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT scripting. In this tutorial, tutorial number 3, I'm going to be going over arrays, a way of having a variable contain multiple amounts of data, using an index number. Allow me to show you. We first must declare the variable using the global command, saying that we want the variable to be global, here and in any other type of function. We'll get more into local and dim commands as opposed to global later in the tutorial. And then we say we want to create this variable with, an, with, with three different types of indexes. We then assign amounts of data to each one of the variable's indexes. Each one here, variable with the index number of 0, 1, and 2, can contain separate amounts of data. We can then use any type of function, such as the message box function, and have the flag, title, and text be based on the variable with the index numbers. We set variable with the index number of 0 to equal 0, and we put that in the flag parameter of the message box function. The variable with an index number of 1 has the data hello, which we put in the title part of the message box function, and the second and the variable with the second index number, we have hold the data hello sir, which we put in the text for the message box. Let's try it. We get exactly what we want. The OK button, because the flag is zero. The title being hello, which is the title, which is held by variable with the index number of one, and with an index number of two, the variable for the text. You can also use multi-index arrays. How you do this is by simply adding another number after the first index number, such as 2. What we're saying here is the first index number we want there to be 3 of, and the second index number we want there to be 2 of. These additional index numbers can go up to 64. Once it reaches 64, though, you'll get an error. It's one small limitation of auto IT. If we change the code around a little bit, like so, it will still work the same way. We declare a variable with two index numbers for the first and two for the second, and then we assign the variable with an index number of zero for the first and zero for the second to be zero, zero for the first and one for the second to be hello, and one for the first and zero for the second to be hello sir. We then change it in their respective places in the message box function, and when we run it, we still get the same result. Thank you for watching tutorial number 3 of 403 Forbidden's Auto IT video tutorials. I'll see you in tutorial number 4.